investigation into shaping society and self, this course has faced a very pressing question. What is normal? Our first topic is difference versus defect and nature versus nurture. Our class has defined a difference as an individual's variations from the standard, which do not severely impact the individual's quality of life. A defect is similar, but it negatively impacts the individual's quality of life. On the other hand, nature versus nurture deals with the causes of such variations. Nature is related to the biological causes of a variation, which cannot be controlled. Nurture is the cause related to an individual's environment and the factors that can be controlled. Keeping this in mind, it's up to you to decide whether each of these variations is difference or defect in nature or nurture. We will now hold up a series of posters with different variations. For the audience, we ask you to raise your hand for either difference or defect and for either nature or nurture. Our second variation is dissociative identity disorder. This is when an individual has multiple personalities which take over in different situations without the host knowledge. Do you think DID is a difference? A defect? Nature? Nurture. Please raise your hand if you think it is a difference, a defect, nature, nurture. Your decisions of whether these were differences or defects in nature or nurture depend entirely upon your own opinions. Thus, there is no definite answer. These opinions are often based on stereotypes and your worldview, which is our next topic. Stereotypes have become a very prominent part of today's society. In this activity, we have portrayed some of the stereotypes and their influences in a typical high school. Basic white girl, cringe, teacher, jock, nerd, and stoner. have impacted our actions. To fit in with stereotypes, we have resorted to behavior modification. Behavior modification uses positive and negative consequences to encourage or discourage certain behaviors. Throughout the presentation, we have been ringing a bell each time the word normal has been said. Now, you associate the word normal with a bell. This is an example of behavior modification. We will now give another example. Can. Pan, normal. Riley, Anna Reagan, normal. <laughs> Theta, normal. Alyssa, Gab, Kaylee, normal. Normal, normal. Aubrey Claire, normal. Keith, normal. Stevens, normal. All of these topics go to show how complex the idea of normal is. After our course, we came up with our own definition of normal. It is a perceived social standard agreed upon by the majority, which can vary between individuals based on his or her own characteristics and viewpoints. <laughs> 